can I make money from what from this online from home as a freelancer? That's where I can I started from, and then it evolved from that. And I think that's what entrepreneurship is about. Most entrepreneurs, I believe, if you ask the average entrepreneur, they will tell you, well, it started out in the garage, <laughs> kind of like <laughs> the Apple story, and then we figured it out on the way. So let's get into the nitty gritty right. of this story. Making money from social media. Now, I know that a lot of people which is interesting. Sometimes you don't get to interact with people, but sometimes people actually come to your DMs and they say, I love this episode because I love the thing that you posted on YouTube because of ABC. And a lot of times I'm, I'm realizing, especially with my audience on LinkedIn, that yes, I have a lot of C-suite exec people, but many are interested in starting businesses and they are trying to figure out where do they start from. Do they get a website? Because I had somebody tell me, well, I want to make money. I want to coach. I want to consult. I got a, web, I got a website. Uh, I, I bought a domain. I started my page on Facebook. Now what? What do I do? So if somebody watching this like, was like, okay, this is what I need, what would you tell them? Where do they start? So let me see if I understand that question cor correctly. So if you're saying someone who is just wanting to get started in business, where do they start? Where do they start? Do they start with the website, the domain <laughs> and everything? Or where do they start? Uh, okay. So get to the money fast. <laughs> you don't need a website <laughs> to make a sale. I mean, how many times do you hear people that are just crushing it and they're selling like a Google Doc and they haven't even had you know, a website yet. I think a lot of times we get caught up in the look of a business, right? I need an office. I need this. I need that. I need a logo. I need perfect, you know, branding. That is not it. Get to the sales as fast as you can, because the more cash that you have, the more that you can pour back and then start to get the other things. Like my first website had butterflies on it. And it's just like, we're just going to make this work. Okay. But even before then I was like, I don't have like I didn't have the skill. I actually taught myself how to build websites, but at the time I didn't have the skill and I was like, I need to make money. So I just printed a little business card and I just went around LA and walked into like the shops and the stores and was like, Hey, do you have Instagram? Do you need social media? Here's my card. And I just went out there and I just started hustling and tried to make sales. I connected with people online. I left them comments. Hey, love your page. Like, you know, if you'd love to chat, like I do social media and then they say, yes, I send them a DM. Just get to the sales as fast as you can learn. I think the biggest thing that you should learn first is just the art of making sales because then when you have the skill of sales no matter if like you have a website or you have a team or you don't have a team you're always going to be able to keep the money flowing so like don't let yourself get caught up with the little details um and i would say definitely start there so if you know what it is that you want to offer then your job is to learn how that is going to help your ideal customer how it's going to change their life, how it's going to solve their problem. And then you need to get out there and figure out what your sales script is, like what it is that you need to say that is going to empower someone to make the choice to work with you or buy your offer because they feel like it's a good fit because you've done a good job at, you know, explaining the value of what it is that you do. So exactly. That's exactly what I did. And, you know, at least you had money to pay for the paid one in the beginning, I didn't have. So what I did, and most of the groups would not allow you to directly promote. Right. So what I did, I started creating a written content that would intrigue people enough to want to Absolutely. get in touch with me so yeah. that we would have the discussion. So I leveraged what I did because at the time I was service, serving course creators, I leveraged any Portofields group, I leveraged right. different uh, course creators groups, and I will post content and the content will be helpful and then people will be in my DM, I, oh, I see you are a copywriter. 
could you help me with my launch copy could you do this and this is what i did and this is how i got my first few clients you in them groups Yes, exactly. And you see, uh, the, what you just said, I love the way you think because a lot of people will go into the Facebook groups and they're like, well, I can't afford to pay for it or they don't let me promote. You didn't let that hinder you. You were like, mm, you know what? I'm going to just leverage copywriting. I'm going to just create copy that people want to engage with. And because it's so good, they're going to reach out to me. So you didn't allow those limitations to box you in. And that's why I love the way that you think because that is what it, you know helps you elevate and go to the next level.